Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we're going to do something uh, a little bit different. Um, we did one of these a long time ago, but I'm going to do a snow globe tumbler. Um, Hog came out with these new 24 ounce ones that are pre-drilled. This is one I did with my custom glitter blend and little turtle glitters. So this is what we're going for in this case. So I'm going to start with a new one, obviously. I'd only bought five of these. I already did four, so this will be the fifth one, and I'll be done with these. These ones do have a black lid. They're completely flat. If you wanted to rhinestone them, you can. I am not. This one I'm going to do for a winter theme, but see how this hole is pre-drilled? That's great. It makes it so easy. Um, these don't come with a plug currently. Some of her glass ones did, but they don't seem to now. I also did some glass ones, sublimatable ones. Didn't really care for it. Um, probably not something I would do again. I don't like the way the sublimation looks on the clear glass. It's just not for me. But I'd only ordered a couple to play with, so... So I just folded a piece of tape over, wide tape on itself, and I have that ready to go. My mix is going to be Elmer's Magical Liquid, which is a slime activator, actually. That's its purpose in life. So, but I'm going to mix the slime activator. Um, I'm going to mix it about maybe a little less than 50-50. The more activator, and, and this is distilled water, the more slime activator you use, the slower your flow will be. But I'm also going to pour just a little bit of distilled water in this to start. This is just a squeeze bottle from Dollar Tree. It does have a little bit of glitter floating around in it, but I'm not really worried about it. Because I do want a little bit of liquid in the bottom before I start putting my glitter in. So, um, just so the glitter doesn't all settle into the rim and end up stuck there forever. And this will get further thinned with distilled water as I start filling the tumbler. So I'm just going to mix that with a popsicle stick and close this up. I don't like a super thick flow. Um, I like to be able to move it around. So. But that is completely personal preference. So I'm going to use a mixture of these two glitters, Icicle, which is a blue and white and silver, and a little bit of Snow Day, which is just a white and silver. I'm going to start with a one ounce measuring cup full. And some of this will stick around the tape, but um, these holes make it really easy for the glitter to go in. The nice, clean, pre-drilled hole. So I'm just going to sit here and tap the side and let the glitter fall in.
I'm just going to scrape some of this glitter back up out of the tape. I really don't actually have that much down in there on this one. I did pretty good. So that's all the glitter I'm going to put in this one. You can see how that fluid's preventing it from sticking, sticking at the bottom. I'm going to put a bit more fluid in here now. Just the regular distilled water. And I'm just going to kind of twist and shake to get it down in that glitter. As long as I'm not bringing my fluid up to the top, I'm okay to keep doing this. Well, what is the bottom now? Okay. So now I'm going to put some of my mixed into the cup, or from the cup into the little bottle. I'm going to work on filling it. I can see the air bubble in the top now, working its way up. So I will try to work that air bubble towards the opening. I also like to take a little bottle with alcohol in it. And down. This is just regular rubbing alcohol. Sometimes that can help if you get an air bubble forming around the opening. And if you use a little squeezy bottle and you get some on the top, you can actually pick it back up with that squeezy bottle. But you can see how little an air bubble I'm down to right now. This is where I will sometimes switch over to a needle cap. And I believe this just has distilled water in it right now. It might not. I don't even necessarily need the needle on it right now. All right, so currently there's actually no air in this. Um, I am going to allow this to degas for a little bit though. Let any air that's trapped in it work its way to the surface. But you can take a little piece of paper towel and a piece of painter's tape and temporarily plug that hole if you want. to give it a mix. See, you can see there is air in there somewhere. But you can see how the flow is slow with that. Um, slime activator. I'm going to give it a really good shake. Then I'm going to go ahead and peel this back off. And I'm going to let the 
those air bubbles come to the surface because you can see there is one in here. Okay, so this is off-gassed quite a bit. If it has any bubble at all, it'd be a small one. So I'm not going to be terribly concerned at this point. Um, I'm going to try and put just a little bit more fluid in there. And then I'm going to seal it up. So, what I have is a tiny little piece of a small glue stick that I'm just getting trimmed down. That's going to be my plug to start. So I'm going to squirt if I can just a little bit because I do have a tiny little pocket right here. Make sure there's no stray glitter. And I'm going to stab my little plug. And you're going to want to be careful with this whole part that you don't burn yourself, cut yourself, stab yourself with your tool. I'm just going to take a stick lighter and get it melty. There's lots of different ways of plugging these and finishing these. This is just the way I am finding that works. And I'm going to stick it in there and let it cool a little bit. Some of the liquid is going to escape around it. As soon as I push it in, it's going to displace it. So while it's still warm, I'm going to push it down. And it'll set up pretty quickly. I'm going to wipe that back off again. Mm. So this might not be fully watertight at this point. What I'm going to do is make sure my top is dry again. I'm going to grab my UV resin. My hard type Let's Resin UV Resin. This is what I use. And I'm going to put a little bit around my plug to start. And, and I'm going to let it run a two minute cycle over that. Just a tiny bit of the glitter whoops, into that cup. And I'm going to put a decent amount of the UV resin into that. And put the cap back on, Sally. Whoops. So, because that was such a small amount, that's actually already set up. So, what I'm going to do is pour this right in that hole. These cups are really nice because they have a pretty big lip at the bottom for you to fill with resin. So, I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to spread it around. To take care of those bubbles, and you can see how the glitter will hide the plug. That's kind of the goal to that. But you don't want it so thick that your resin can't cure through it. So to pop the bubbles, I'm going to take that long-handed lighter again and just run it across the top.
And then we're going to bring the lamp back in. This time I'm going to let it do two cycles of two minutes. So I will be back in four minutes. Okay, so that is dry. I feel like it has a little bit of a leak still. I'm going to check again. I'm going to actually flip it upside down on a paper towel to double check. I don't really see how it's possible, but... Um, we're going to take the UV resin one more time. And we're just going to clear coat around it again. Being careful not to go over that top seal, the top layer. And I'm just going to smooth it out with a glove this time. to get a better look at it. So I think I'm good. I'm going to put it back under my lamp for another two minutes. Let that layer um, seal and we'll see what we have. Okay, so this is done and cured. How beautiful is that? It doesn't leak at the bottom. I've tested it now. It doesn't leak from the top. So we're going to go ahead and get decals on this. There's no front or back, so it doesn't really matter. I just cut a very simple winter wonderland. They cut it so everything is one piece technically. And then I created an offset for it and just cut some snowflakes. And I do have one or two little tiny baby air bubbles in here. You can see once in a while, but really not bad at all. So I'm going to get my um, light box out so I can sit this in it and you can see the full tumbler. Okay, so it is sitting in the light box now. You can see the glitter moving slowly. This is what that slime activator does. It gives you a very slow flow. Um, my members are going to get a glass jar snow globe with just either distilled water or contact lens solution. Depends on if I have enough lens solution to do one. Um, just to have a contrast in the flow. 
So, there we go. But this is beautiful. The glitter does move. It will eventually settle. I will sit this on a paper towel for a good 24 hours just to double check for any kind of leakage. But I am pretty confident that this is now well sealed. So, there we go. That is it. Um, if you're interested in doing snow globe tumblers and you don't want to do the coffee brand ones, um, I definitely like the design of this cup. It is much better than any of the ones I have purchased from Amazon and tried to do in the past. Um, so again, Stainless Depot, this one's a 24 ounce, I believe, pre-drilled, which was an added bonus. So that is it. Thanks for watching.